hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to create a PDF file with your uh, C sharp application so for that we are going to need a third party DLL and I will show you uh, how to download that DLL which is a open source DLL so that's free to download and use so let's first see how can we download that DLL and in the later part of the video I will show you how to use that DLL to create a PDF file so go to your browser and write here iText sharp in your search and the first link you will see is iText sharp in the sourceforge.net projects so it's link is showing free software downloads at sourceforge and when you click this uh, link you will reach to the C sharp uh, sorry itex sharp download zip so I will just download this zip file and it takes some seconds to download in a meanwhile I will uh, return to my project and I will go to the solution explorer of my project and I will select my project name and I will right click it and I will click open folder in windows explorer so what it will do is it will open a project folder in which your project is located okay and let's see if the download is complete or not no it's still downloading so this itext pdf which we are going to generate today we can also use it to uh, make reports also so our file is downloaded i will open it and it contains some some zip files okay so let's see which zip file we are going to need so what i will do is i will open this zip file first zip file which is itex sharp dll core double click it and what i will do is i will just select these both two file xml and dll file and I will drag and drop into my project folder okay wherever my solution is there for the project so now it's there and I will close it and in I will once again open the second file and see if it contains any DL files or not yes so I will select this file also and drag and drop into my project also and third I will select this DL also and drag and drop into my project so I have taken three DLL files and I have placed them into my project folder where my project is located and now I will minimize this all and now the next step is once again go to your solution explorer right click it and go to add references and then go to browse and it will by default open your uh, uh, project folder and if it doesn't open your project folder just choose or browse the DLL file which you have extracted from itext sheep C sharp okay these three files and I will select OK and you can see all the three DLL files are here so when you once again go to the solution explorer and go to resources you can see all the these three C sharp file here C sharp DLL files here okay now the code part so for that 
I will give you a simple example how to generate a simple PDF file with some text in it. So I will take a button from the toolbox and I will change its text as create PDF and I will double click this button and in here I will write my code for creating the PDF but before that we need to add some imports or using namespaces so add here using high text sharp dot text sorry dot text and using high text sharp dot text dot pdf okay so these two files we are importing and just if you don't have uh, this system.io file in your namespaces then include this also because this we will use for the file stream so write these three files or import these three namespaces in your c sharp code just below your other using namespaces once again we will go to the form just double click it and in here now we will write the code for generating the PDF okay so in here we will write our code so just write this code to generate the file so declare a document doc so this is a variable name from my text and give it any variable is equal to new document and uh, in the bracket write itext dot text dot page size dot letter and comma 10 comma 10 comma 42 comma 42 okay comma 35 sorry so write this line and then in the next line write pdf writer which is a class of your itext sharp and then write a variable name according to yourself in my case wri is equal to pdf writer dot get instance and in the bracket we will pass this variable here comma new file stream and in the bracket once again give the name of your pdf file whatever you want to give so I have given my PDF file name is test.pdf and in this whole name is in double quotes. You can also give some path if you want to give like C something like that. But I am generating this PDF file in my project folder where my exe file is there. So I am not providing any paths. It will generate in my project folder comma file mode dot create bracket and bracket close okay so write this code in the next line copy this variable write it here dot open so this will open your document file and then in the next para next line write the content of the pdf file so in this uh, video we are just uh, learning how to write some paragraph line in your PDF file so write paragraph variable name is equal to new paragraph and in bracket write whatever you want to write in the prior paragraph okay and if you want to give some new line comment so just give this slash n and you can give new line okay and then uh, 
once again write doc dot add and once again copy this paragraph line here or paragraph variable into this bracket doc dot add and in the bracket write this variable name paragraph and then write doc dot close so this is closing your document okay so write this code to generate a simple PDF and this PDF will contain this paragraph okay so if you want you can uh, pause uh, the video and write the code and when, once you have done writing the code we will check our code now so I am running my program username and password okay and this is my button so right now I will show you I will go to my project and in my bin folder debug here there, there is no PDF file if you can see and when I click this create PDF button just see here a PDF will be generated so I will click this and you see a text dot PDF is generated here okay and when I open this PDF file double click it it contains the content of my paragraph so this is the first line of the paragraph this is the second line of the paragraph so this is a simple uh, PDF file which contains a paragraph. In the future videos or in the next few videos I will show you how to create a fully designed PDF uh, report with the help of this iText Sharp and C Sharp application. So I will show you how to write the heading, how to give the dates, how to give the title, how to insert images, how to make tables, all this I will show you in the next few videos. So stay tuned and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.